Hey, 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 this video is going to be a flashback to the four key features of the genetic code that some uh, person put down as important on a piece of paper and you need to remember for your genetics class, but then uh, might kind of slip by the wayside. But for that genetics class and for those board examinations, we're going to touch on all four key features of the uh, human genetic code. Um, the first of which is that that genetic code is unambiguous. Now what does unambiguous mean? Well, ambiguous means, you know, it's not very clear what, the, what you're trying to say. So unambiguous means it is clear. And what they're trying to say here is that each codon in uh, DNA or RNA or whatever it is you want to talk about, each codon, each three um, nucleotide bit here, specifies only one amino acid. So if you have like AUG pop up, tRNA is going to know what's going on, everyone's going to know what's going on, this can only lead to methionine. This is one of the ways that tRNA and our, uh, you know, our replicative processes don't get screwed up and don't make switches. And that is that uh, there's only one way there's only one possible outcome. If you write AUG, there's only one thing your body is going to interpret, and that's methionine. The second thing is that it is redundant. Now, some people use the word degenerate, but med school made easy is the optimist, and we're going to use the word redundant. Redundant or degenerate. Now, what does redundant mean? It means that most amino acids are coded by multiple codons. Now, there are some exceptions to this. Well, let's talk about what it means first before we talk about what the exceptions are. The exceptions are, let's talk about <clears throat> some sort of amino acid, uh, like uh, proline, for example. And the thing about proline is that there's not, there's not one three-letter codon that will code for proline. There are more than one way... More, there's more than one way to get a proline amino acid added to your chain. So, like for example, with proline, you have like CCC, CCU, CCA. Uh, I forget all of them. There's like four or five of them there that can get proline. So basically, like what that's kind of saying is, you can think of it as redundant. Means that even if we knocked out all of something, the I don't, I don't know, we knocked out all the adenines or uracils, which you know you still you won't be able to live. But in that instance, you still be able to get a proline codon. And it's just a, it's a key feature of the genetic code. So far, we have one, unambiguous, two, redundant. Uh, the third feature we're going to talk about is non-overlapping. And some people call it comma-less. So who knows what that means? So non-overlapping. And now, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it's like reading a single string of letters. They're all neatly in line. There's only one line. There's no way for your body to skip lines. There's no way for your body to be dyslexic or commalous. The ribosomes, the tRNA, are going to read that single string in the correct fashion, in a continuous manner, along a linear way. Um, and then the fourth thing is, the fourth feature is universal. And universal, you know, is the same as we when we use it in our vernacular. It means that this same genetic code and these same features, it's it's been conserved throughout evolution. So when you look at mammals, when you look at all sorts of different living structures, um, everything that has DNA inside of it, it, they all obey by these same four features of the genetic code. And there's a lot of um, similarities amongst genetic code between uh, organisms, uh, you know, a very high percentage of similarity amongst all living organisms. Um, I do really quick, I mentioned earlier, there are some exceptions to these rules, uh, and they actually kind of have biological purpose, so that's why the exception, or an evolutionary purpose, that's why they exist. Um, the first one I want to talk about is with this redundancy or de degeneracy. Um, there are there's only one way to code for meth uh, yeah, methionine and tryptophan. Um, the methionine, as you all know, is the start codon. So the thought is kind of that biologically or evolutionarily, we didn't want to start and stop replication you know, um, too many times. We only wanted there to be one commander for replication. That commander is AUG methionine. 
So that's that's kind of a, a exception to redundancy. Um, and then the other thing is that um, this this non-overlapping of this common list th comma thing comma list number three the feature uh, viruses as they do with all sorts of things they they don't follow this they play by their own rules and then lastly the universal aspect of genetic code um, the one kind of clinically important exception to this rule is mitochondria which as you know are kind of the energy producers they're technically prokaryotes or prokaryotic features inside of our eukaryotic cells that sort of thing um, they are they are different uh, yeah they don't have the same genetic code that we do Anyways, yes, that is the, those are the four features of genetic code. Thanks for stopping by. Med School Made Easy. What up?